In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Qdrent Vector Database with Llama Index. I'm using uh, Qdrent's cloud service, and I've been playing with different vector databases recently, but I've been happy with Qdrent. It's very easy to use. Uh, when you log in, you can create a new cluster, and uh, you can create one free cluster um, with these basic uh, configurations. Uh, and then after that, you've got to pay, or if you want to, you know, scale up a bit, you can do that. And then you can also see what the pricing is going to be. So uh, it helps me to see it on a monthly basis, so I can, I can see that here. Uh, but it's free to... You know, you can have one free cluster, which I have here. And uh, let's open it up. And you've got your cluster URL, which you're going to need, as well as your uh, API key. So here's the, uh, the code snippet that we are going to need. I'm using Python. So this is, this is what we're going to need to uh, connect to our, our database. And then if you go to access, you can get your API key right here. Or you'll have to create it and yeah, you'll get it. And now let's look at our code. So we're, uh, we've got our dependencies here, llama index, uh, vector store index, simple directory reader, etc. And the, the two dependencies we need for Qdrent here. Um, and then here's here's what we just looked at. Here's the code that we just looked at. And I'm using... So to build this index, um, I'm just building it from some files in this plugins folder using the simple directory reader. And the first time I run this, it builds the index and queries it and gives me a response. Uh, but after I've built the index, and you can see it's not a it's not a huge it's not a huge index by any means, all right? So I've got all of this space. Um, once I've run it, I don't need to build the index again, so I can change this to a, I guess like an empty brackets here, and I'll just comment this out. And now I could still run it and it's just going to query the database this time. So let's run it. And while that's running, um, let's say now on the next occasion, let's say I want to add some more documents to, or to my database. Uh, how do I go about doing that? Okay, so here's... Here's what we just ran, and this is uh, working as expected. So if I want to add some more documents, I might do something like this. And, you know, maybe I've got them somewhere else. Uh, and... So for each document and more documents, we're going to That was a train. Okay, so now I've updated our code if I, just in case I wanted to add more documents here to our index. We can do that. And it's really as simple as that. Um, in another video, I will uh, do a comparison between uh, Qdrent, Chroma, um, what else have I been playing with? my scale pine cone um, and if you have any other requests for uh, vector stores that you're curious about let me know and i'll uh, look into them as well peace